I'm here to be a hypocrite. I'm really bothered by like super judgmental people. Do I have my judgmental moments? Of course, everybody does, it's human nature. And here's my thing. I've kind of like reconditioned the way that I think, like when I see like eccentric, 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 eccentric. When I see like different, I don't like to use the word different, it's like eccentric, eccentric, however you say that word, when I see those kinds of people. I used to look at them and be like, really sweetie? Like purple hair? I feel like that was a bad example because like I've always loved colored hair. But like for me now, it's like if you're making a style choice or whatever, and it isn't necessarily for me, then that's just all it is. It's just not for me. But like the fact that you have enough confidence to step out of the house like that, like go you, like there's there's certain dresses that I won't even walk out of the house in because I'm like, oh my god, I look too extra right now. So like go you for like stepping out of your house with this hot pink magenta neon hair. Like, excuse me, that is... I, I don't know, like, props to you. But it really bothers me when I see people who are like, oh, look at that. <laughs> Why is she just, like, <laughs> like that? It's like, they're not bothering you. Like, if they were booty butt naked in the middle of the mall, okay, question it. You know what I mean? But, like, if some girl's walking around with some bright blue hair and an orange shirt and some dark green jeans, it's kind of like an eyebrow-raising moment, but it's also... That's her style. This is my style. She could look at me and be like, why is her hair so big? You know, like there's so many things that other people can say about you. I would rather be with somebody, like be around somebody who will step out of the house in pink hair rather than somebody who will look at somebody weird for making a certain style choice. Like I will not lie to you, there are certain things I'll kind of like, you know, but like, I, that's very rare for me at this point because I've like kind of trained myself to think like okay just because it's not for you doesn't mean you have to be rude about it you know what I mean like just because like Cheeto just because like Cheetos aren't for you doesn't mean that you should sit here and share this video and be like oh my god she's so disgusting she needs Cheetos I just hate being around people like that I hate people seeing people like that online so yeah I started thinking about this because there's this model Slick Woods I think is her name and she has very unconventional looks and social media can't handle unconventional looks. Like she has a gap in her teeth, she's very skinny, and people see her and they're like, yo, she's ugly. And she's kind of like turned into a meme. Half of the internet sees her as a meme and the other half is like, she's literally gorgeous. I do think that there are times where people will see somebody who maybe isn't the prettiest or whatever to them, but they'll just say that they're pretty out of pit, pretty out of pity. They do that a lot with plus size women. That people share like, oh my God, she is beautiful. Even if they don't necessarily think that, they just want to seem like a good person, which that's a whole nother video for another time. I think like the internet's divided 50-50 with this young lady. It's like some people are like, lol, she's ugly. And then the other half is like, wow, she's beautiful. And it just really bothers me seeing those people on Twitter who are like, she's ugly. And like retweet memes about her. Like, that's disrespectful. Like, just because she has a large platform does not mean that she's not going to see your comment. And yeah, she can say she's unbothered and maybe she is, but no doubt that that girl has had moments at least in her past where she was like maybe i am ugly because like people's words get to you you know what i mean i think she's absolutely gorgeous oh my god and like the fact that she is this is who i am sorry you know what i mean i love that i, I think she's beautiful that's why i started thinking about this this whole like judgmental thing there are people that i'm close to like family members that i absolutely love or will be out in public and they're like girl what is you doing you know, I find myself judging people's choices, you know what I mean, rather than when they wear. Like, when I see a parent, like, being really disrespectful to their kid, like, I understand, like, you, like, lose your patience sometimes, you might be a little more rude than you mean to what happens. You know, like, when you see, like, that kind of person yelling at their kid and, like, at their child and they swear and stuff, but you're like, that's, that's not a good parent right there. That's the time when, like, I'll judge people. Like, I'm not saying, like, oh, here's the times when it's okay to judge people, guys, but, like, I'm just saying, I'm explaining the fact that I'm not perfect. Like, I will judge people, too, not just on somebody how, on to, not just on how somebody looks. Do you know what I mean? I think that's just, like, crossing a line. So, yeah, that's it for tonight, you guys. Stop judging people. Just let them live. If they're not concerning you, then keep walking.